My name is Joe Biden. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a history buff. And I love the history, so for the last few, always, always done on the men's side, but when women's came along, I also was interested in that. There's a reason going back for that, because the way I was raised when I was younger. Right. I had an aunt who, um, who you know, she was uh, a maid at this house, and every time she went on vacation, she didn't have any kids, but she kind of adopted me. Every time she would come to church, she made me candy, she, she just followed me. She went on vacation, and she didn't have to take me where she right. went down to Washington D.C. And for the first time, my eyes were open because Hollywood and TV, uh, it, it kind of stereotypes things and makes you think things uh, don't exist. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, um, I, one thing I saw on TV, like say during the '60s, was like um, women. They would be like uh, they might be a housewife, they might be a secretary, or a teacher. And that's, those are the main, main ones. And you hardly didn't see any uh, women police officers, at least not on TV, and, 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 anyway. So anyway, when she took me down to Washington, D.C., uh, a young lad took a train down there and stayed a couple of days, I saw things that I never saw before. I saw police, uh, women police officers. I saw a woman riding the bus. I saw a woman climbing a telephone pole. I said, wait, wait a minute. So I, I said, wait, for So here we got it straight from the elder. Now, I mean, you know, we come from a people and a tradition where we always go and sit under the tree and just listen to the elders. You know, in this day and time, you could do it on the porch. You could do it at your library. You could do it in the car, whatever. Now, I mean, and, you know, shout out to all the women of the world. They are the womb of men. Now, I mean, you know, like you, I experienced things. But my personal experience was I was raised by a single mother and three sisters, <laughs> you know, I see my aunts, my grandmothers, you know, you, so no one could ever instill in me that women were weak. I, I could, I, you know what I mean? Just like yeah. growing up in the hood, you know, the women, mm -hmm. you know, our women, our, the legacy of the women, the struggles, the sacrifices, mm -hmm. not just in the past, but sisters to this very day. You know what I mean? You know, they trying to go to school, they trying to earn a living, people mm -hmm. fall them for whatever path they may choose, it may be, they are MIT students or they may be stripping at the club, but they trying to feed their mm -hmm. families. They trying to make their, a better way for themselves and they not sitting around waiting for something to fall out the sky. A lot of us men, even religious men, now I mean, misinterpret the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, mm -hmm. and justify the oppression of women, the enslavement of women. But one thing about the universe, mm -hmm. the law of gender is in all things. Father God, Mother Nature, you need the balance. The struggle continues. Peace, man. The notable women. Got the queen up there. I don't know about the queen. They should have showed her with a gun. Okay. Yes, uh, just this. You could talk, Pam. Tell me about the exhibit, how you got it for the women. You can just walk me. I'm just walking. Okay. I'm just showing up one of them. See. Okay, uh, this is the woman's um, exhibit. This is my third year of, of doing this, and you can see it from here every year. Okay. Um, and um, what happened? Um, the woman's the, the, the celebrating the woman's month is fairly big. Really, really. Right. It had it hadn't been it hadn't been celebrated. So they're down. They're getting their rec recognition. These people are getting uh, identified. They can hear you. Okay, they, and this, this particular one here is all about change. Sure. You, know, you can see the old woman here is uh, uh, Trudy, Trudy Hayes, the journalist. So she just passed away. Yeah, she, she, she was a journalist from Milwaukee. And we got, we got Whitney here. 
And the Women's Movement, the 19, the Women's Amendment, the 19th Amendment passed in 1920, 1920. And the same thing about it was the women's suffrage and the turn, turn of the century, it, it has been going on for years. But they tried to get women to vote for it. And every day, they would be at the Woodrow Wilson's uh, office and at, at the gate in front of his, uh, from his office. Right. He, he just ignored them. And he said, well, and well, they're just a bunch of women. That, that's, that's how they, they, that's how they look like that. But they got so, so annoying that he started to have them arrested for trust trespass. Mm. Some of the women even went to jail. And they wasn't treated very nicely by the, by the males. And by the women got treated when they went to jail. When at the Woodward Wilson's inauguration, everybody wondered where uh, everybody was going. There was a parade down Pennsylvania Avenue during his inauguration. The men went over to harass the women <laughs> as they were marching. It got so bad they had to call the National National Guard. And that's, that's, that's how bad it got. But when they, when they went to vote on it, what happened was this particular the congressman from Tennessee, I can't remember his name right now, but this, this particular uh, gentleman um, from Tennessee had voted against women's suffrage and voting every time. So they weren't worried about it. They knew once he came in and cast his ballot that day, women would be set back again. But before going in to vote, he stopped and talked to his mother. And his mother told her all the years to how she had suffered and not been able to vote. So on the way to to, to, to the ballot box, he changed his mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when he walked in the door and voted for it, everybody was stumped. <laughs> <laughs> but the only thing about the women's suffrage thing, there also were a lot of uh, Afro-American women who were also involved in suffrage, in, in, in the suffrage. Yeah, but the thing that was is, is that I guess the Apple Milk said, "Well, it's, it's good. It's good for you, for you guys. But what do, uh, what do, what do we uh, Apple Americans get, get out of the deal? <laughs> right? Yeah, we're still not going to be treated Apple. We're still, still going to not be treated right. This is about the um, uh, Title Title Nine. Title Title Nine is, has so happened. All the uh, colleges are supposed to have uh, the same amount of African programs as as at the men." For years and years and years, this has not been, been the case. So they did test these laws and finally got it passed. So that, this, is, it's an on, this is an ongoing battle. Uh, one of Bill Jean King was, was, was the leader for this one from the beginning. She was a tennis player. Also, Bill Jean King, she, she, um, before the Congress, she, she, she had, a, had a hearing. And she had a, a testimony on how the women were not one of the problems we have with uh, with uh, that with the women's suffrage and 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 with uh, that uh, and with Hollywood, Hollywood, they try to brainwash. They they want to put the stereotypes on film. So what, so what we're used to to see. For for example, when I was growing up, I remember seeing on TV. I was a young man, like nine years old. Okay, so 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 the women they um I went down to Washington D.C. I saw that and changed my attitude. But there's a TV is not showing you the true picture. Women are capable of doing a lot of things. Right. And over the years, I I, I kind of kind of been uh, like I've been like been, having having gone along with a lot of things that the men were saying about women. That you know, a lot of men think that the women were born inferior. They that they couldn't do the job, and right. and they've been uh, discriminated against for uh, I guess ever since uh, the, the resistance. Hmm. Uh, so. So it seems like I'm going back to um, the women like during World War II, World War One. There's not so much that they have done and, and accomplished that they're just getting uh, notarized right. uh, for equal equal pay that the men that the men are doing. And, and down I saw where during World War Two the men, the women did the job. They worked in the factories and while the men men while the men were away. But going back to this uh, to the uh, suffrage situation, we had that march in Washington. 
uh, like I said, like I said before, the, the men came over from Woodrow Wilson's uh, inauguration to go over to harass the women. And, mm -hmm. and so bad that there were about 15,000 women marching down Pennsylvania Avenue, Pennsylvania Avenue, and they harassed them. They called in, they called in the National Guard and everything. So, but it's been, it's been ongoing, and it's just battle is still really going on. People pay. Mm -hmm. I know, for example, there's just coaches, and you know, like for example, a lot of the coaches, no matter what the occupation is, it seems that uh, uh, they always got to fight for for for, for pay. Mm -hmm. I remember recently here that the women's soccer team. Oh, yeah. One all the one all the gold medals and stuff, but they still didn't get the same pay that the men were getting. So that. when they when they they protested, they was right. Hey, wait a minute, you're paying the men more money and everything, and not getting much enough. But we're the ones bringing home the championships. <laughs> but they finally won the women petition, and they finally won won that battle. So right. they get equal pay just like the men men got. My attitude has been also because of what I had to. What my 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 aunt took me down to Washington D.C. It embedded in me to. Uh, uh, have a different attitude towards women, period. Right. And I remember I became, um, on my job, uh, I, I, I became a uh, union leader, president of a union, okay. representing the, uh, uh, representing the uh, asked me uh, staff and the secretary maintenance staff people. Wow. And I had, I had, I don't how many fights I had with men who were, who were being discriminated about um, women and they would make like, Sarcastic remarks, yeah. and I have to go file grievances against them. Said you can't talk, you can't talk like that, and it's inappropriate. What you what you're doing? Right. Uh, the other thing was that now, now I also go back to the Nita Hill case. The Nita Hill case and her her situation. I felt I felt that she was discriminated against in the trial she had. But what that did was, of course, the way of course, the way Nita Hill was treated. A lot of women came out of the woodwork and did this ain't right. When you see how you guys treated her, right. and we're going to run for office and we're going to vote you in office. Yeah. And that that really that that really uh, caused a movement. A lot of women came out and they went for office. And right. Things begin, begin to change. Um, so I want to say that now there's ongoing battle. I know it's, it's uh, the coaches. I know I noticed that the coaches don't don't have, don't have uh, that much pay at the men. So mm -hmm. that battle is ongoing, and I just you have to you know, be careful about what you see on TV because Hollywood is prejudiced about what they do and what, no. what they, they brainwash us and what, what we see. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really show you what the reality, reality is. Yeah. And going, going back and going back to uh, a lot of women back during the women's suffrage did not, everybody wasn't on the same page. But some women did not want the women to uh, to push for the vote because they thought it was going to destroy the family structure. Right. They want things to stay as they are. Mm -hmm. On our side, they said, "No, we want more freedom, more rights, and we can still hold the house household down. Right. Not just come home and cook your meal and raise your family. Yeah. We can work on the out. We can work on the out outside. So it's an ongoing battle, and it, 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 it continues. And that's why I, I, I put this when I put this thing up. I put this uh, exhibit together. I've been doing this for the third year that I've been doing this." And that gets bigger and bigger. So, and I have I've gotten good feed, feedback from it. I think it goes back all the way back to when I went down to Washington, about nine years old, and yeah. saw women not on TV just doing being a, a, a secretary or a nurse uh -huh. or a housewife. They they done a lot more than that. Yeah.